Hello everyone, in this video we'll talk about immunity against fungus or immunity against fungal infection. So there are about millions of species of fungus but among them only 400 to 500 are potential agents which can cause human fungal disease. So let us look at these species and how our body mounts an immune response against them. So obviously fungus can enter our body via several routes such as entry by inhalation so the fungal spores can enter our body via our nostrils it can also get entry through an injury site let's say there is some fungus spore and there is an injury in your hand it can easily get into your circulation and lastly it can be associated with your gut mucosa or other mucosal linings and they are like kind of a opportunistic pathogen so whenever they would get opportunity they would get in so there are multiple modes of entry right now fungal diseases or mycosis are classified based on few following criteria so first of all the site of infection whether it is superficial cutaneous subcutaneous or deep and systemic so these are all important factor that we think about then the route of acquisition it could be either endogenous or exogenous coming through our inhalation or it might be present already in the gut microbiota or or in the gut lining and lastly the virulence whether it is primary or opportunistic so against these fungal pathogens our body mount two type of immune response the innate response which is limitedly specific and the adaptive immune response which is highly specific so the innate immune response components involves macrophages dendritic cells neutrophils and complement capsule whereas the adaptive immune components such as t helper cells th1 subpopulation of helper cells and th17 plays crucial role against fungal infection so first of all let me tell you that neutrophils are one of the component of an innate immune system that plays a strong defensive role against most fungus so neutrophils are highly phagocytotic so they would phagocytose these fungus and try to neutralize the threat now the three most medically relevant cell wall components of the fungus include glucans mannans and chitin all of these three components can work like a pan or pathogen associated molecular pattern that means this pan would be recognized by the pattern recognition receptor present in the dendritic cell or macrophages so there are many pattern recognition receptors such as tlr249 that can determine fungal components whereas dectin 1 and c type lectin receptors are crucial for recognizing fungal pathogen associated molecular patterns so these with these receptors our innate immune system is able to understand that indeed there is a fungal infection and body needs to fight back against that so these fungal uh, species would be opsonized by complement protein so here you can see quite a lot of complement protein has coated these candida albicans now when these um, complement proteins are decorating the outer surface macrophages can really come and bind to these receptors so bind to these complement proteins as macrophage has complement receptors and the end result is engulfment of these funguses with the help of macrophages other than that there are mannose binding lectins which can bind to polysaccharide type antigens and it would lead to fixation of complement and the complement mediated damage would ultimately kill the fungus so fungus are also very intelligent they devise many strategies which can prevent the immune system to harm them such as one fungus that creates some kind of like a capsule around them as a result 
the dendritic cell is unable to recognize it as the first cell or the complement proteins are unable to settle down on the surface and this fungus actually survives and can infect a human. So these kind of funguses are actually dangerous. Now it has been known that AIDS patients suffer an increased incidence of mucosal candiditis and many other fungal infections. That tells us that in the HIV where the TH helper cell numbers are low, there it is more susceptible to fungal infection. That in turn mean fungal uh, immunity against fungal infection involves these T helper cell mediated responses. But the mouse which are compromised and which don't have the B cell, they are not too much susceptible towards the fungal uh, infection. So there is no extra susceptibility. That tells us among the adaptive immune components, T cell response is crucial for fungal infection elimination, not the B cell response. And these days it is well known that TH1 subpopulation of cells are really important against fungal, fungal uh, immunity because TH1 subpopulation secretes interferon gamma. And interferon gamma activates macrophages and creates inflammation. This leads to more macrophage recruitment and engulfment of the fungus and thereby clearing of this fungus from the system. Now, a recently discovered subpopulation of T helper cell, which is known as TH1 cell, turns out to play a very important role against fungal infection. Because they secrete IL-17, which is a key effector against fungal infection. Now, TH-17 cells are generated when the naive T cells are activated in presence of IL-6 or TGF-beta. TGF but the question is, where does these cytokines come from? And the answer is, these cytokines are secreted by macrophages or dendritic cell itself. Once the dendritic cell or macrophage recognize fungal pathogen with the help of their TLR, such as TLR2 in this case, they, this signaling would lead to IL-6 or TGF beta production. As a result, the T helper cells would be differentiated into TH17 population, which plays an important role against fungal immunity. So now we can understand that how innate and the adaptive immune components are holding each other's hand to combat the fungal infection. So in summary, we would look at that, uh, we looked at in this video, that what is the types of responses against a fungal infection? What are the recognition methods by which our body senses that there is a fungal infection? And lastly, the mechanism of fungal defense response, how innate immune system and adaptive immune system coordinated with each other and how it prevented a fungal infection that we have looked at in this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And please support me on Patreon such that my channel can grow big and big. And guys, I'm also present in Unacademy. My courses are there. If you like to uh, subscribe to Unacademy, don't forget to use my code EPI10. It would give you a 10% discount. Thank you guys. Thanks for listening.